Hey, welcome to, oh my God, I got a new D20. Look at it, it's so cute. It's metal and it's got a heart on it. And and that's where, like, that's the 20. The 20 is the, where you, like, the heart. So when you roll and it's, a, it's okay. my name is Simone and this is George and this is where I watch movies and television. So Dr. Strange Love or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. This may be the longest title for a movie we've ever seen and possibly the oldest movie we've seen so far. 1964. Yeah, yeah, by Kubrick. So the poster is pretty cool. Describe. I think it's about, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's about the Cold War. So we have, uh, it's a drawing. It's like a little cartoony drawing. It looks like newspaper cartoons. Okay. And there's two, I guess, older, probably politician or president or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's their back facing, facing us. And they're on the red phone. The tagline is the hotline suspense comedy. So, cool. I don't know. All right. Well, shall we? That the Soviet Union had been at work on what was darkly hinted to be the ultimate weapon, a doomsday device. Okay. <laughs> it's such romantic music. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, it's refueling the plane? Yeah. <gasps> Oh, this is like the well, the Men in Black uh, intro sequence kind of looks like this. The text being very elongated. I wonder if that's where they got the idea from this movie. Hmm. James Earl Jones? I kind of like it. <laughs> is that what it said? Yeah. Oh. I kind of like how squiggly, like, <laughs> like the, the writing mm. is for all that font. It looks like someone just wrote title cards on, like, clear... Yeah. <laughs> like things and put it in front of like on top of the yeah it's like it's so thing. uneven <laughs> and like <laughs> the music and the plane penetrating each other there's a bit of a jesus george <laughs> <laughs> we all we all thought it <laughs> it looks like we're in a shooting war the hell i want all privately owned radios to be immediately impounded and after you've done that Report back to me. He's the police captain in uh, Godfather. Oh. Yeah, pretty sure. Okay. Intense. Yeah. Each B-52 can deliver a nuclear bomb load of 50 megatons. The airborne alert force is deployed from the Persian Gulf to the Arctic Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Features 24 hours flying, doing circles, yeah. I think that was James Earl Jones. Was it? We just oh. saw him for a split second. <laughs> just take a little nap. <laughs> no big deal. Yeah. <laughs> big deal, big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say wing attack plan R? Wait a second, I'm coming back. Oh, he's just right there. Okay. <laughs> I thought they were in different planes. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you better get a confirmation from base. Yes, sir. Yeah. Active combat then, I guess? Yeah. Or we're dropping a nuke? Major Kong, message from base confirmed. Well, boys, I reckon <laughs> this is it. <laughs> <laughs> and you're right, that was James Earl Jones. I'm always mm. surprised that he's been around for this long. <laughs> like, I always feel like he's like a Harrison Ford kind of age, but not he's older. He's yeah. way older. But he totally is. Yeah, he totally is. It just doesn't feel like it. Mm -hmm. The folks back home is counting on you, and by golly, we ain't about to let them down. Let's get this thing on the hump. We got some flying to do. This music's Ooh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Should I get it? Yeah, you have to. <laughs> oh, it was like a tanning light? I don't know. Well, look, Freddy, <laughs> he's very tied up at the moment. I'm afraid he can't come to the phone. Is he literally tied yeah, up? That's what I was thinking, too. They monitored the transmission about eight minutes ago from Burkelson <laughs> Air Force Base. It was directed to the 843rd <laughs> bomb wing on airborne alert. <laughs> She's just doing all this in one take. Tell him to call uh, base commander Ripper. I have to think of everything on it. <laughs> Are you sure it's plan R? What's cooking on the threat board? Nothing at all? <laughs> all right, tell you what you better do, old buddy. 
Yes. <laughs> o'clock in the morning. <laughs> the Air Force never sleeps. Fuck, honey. I'm not sleepy either. Is this still a, the era where you can't have beds together? Oh, I have, I have no idea. No. Oh, Bucky will be back here before you can say, blast off. Because <laughs> that was the thing, right? <clears throat> On TV. Trust no one. Whatever is uniform or rank. Okay. Anyone or anything that approaches within 200 yards of the perimeter is to be fired upon. Jesus. It has been my privilege to be your commanding officer. I have always expected the best from you, and you have never given me anything less than that. <laughs> <laughs> He's having his, like, the end of day's speech, and he turns on some tunes. <laughs> This music is gonna be some copyright issues. Really? I thought it's just like the ants go marching. Isn't that like <laughs> so old it's free? <laughs> yeah, the the arrangement, but whoever mm. plays it still owns it, right? And I know it's not the ants go marching. That's like the child version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a tricky stuff, yeah. Even if they take like some song that's like 3,000 years old, the person who sang it in this movie would like technically have the copyright. Hmm. The emergency base code prefix is to be set on the dial to the CRM. Set code prefix. Is this supposed to be like a sillier version of the Bay of Pigs? I wonder. Where? What's the Bay? What is that? It's basically like, we came really close to nuclear annihilation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that was like, I think a few years before this movie. Oh, okay. I know it's supposed to be a comedy, but it's really scary. Like, <laughs> like, it's like, they're silly bits, but there's also like, but what they're doing is really like, intense. Mm-hmm. Used air burst at 10. Check, 12,000 feet. Okay. <laughs> the officer exchange program does not give you any special prerogatives to question my orders. If a Russian attack was in progress, we would certainly not be hearing civilian broadcasting. If a Russian attack was not in progress, then your use of Plan R, in fact, your orders the entire wing. Mm -hmm. Oh. It is my clear duty, under the present circumstances, to issue the recall code upon my own authority and bring back the wing. You probably excuse me, sir. Yeah, he locked it. <laughs> <laughs> A decision is being made by the president and the Joint Chiefs in the war room at the Pentagon. <laughs> that shot literally gave me goosebumps. Do you recall what Clemenceau once said about war? <laughs> he said war was too important to be left to the generals. He's like, please, Cooper, can I take the cigar out of my mouth? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can no longer sit back and allow the international communist conspiracy to sap and impurify all our precious bodily fluids. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. Now, General Turgeson, what's going on here? <clears throat> Mr. President. World targets and megadeths? Planes are fully armed with nuclear weapons. The aircraft will begin penetrating Russian radar cover within uh, 25 minutes. Oh. I was under the impression that I was the only one in authority to order the use of nuclear weapons. And although I uh, hate to judge before all the facts are in. War alert action book. Plan R is an emergency war plan in which a lower echelon commander may order nuclear retaliation after a sneak attack. Well, I assume then that the planes will return automatically once they reach their fail safe points. Well, no, sir, I'm afraid not. <laughs> then why haven't you radioed the planes countermanding the go code? Well, I'm afraid we're unable to communicate with any of the aircraft. Why? So that's it, we're just starting a nuclear war. Jesus. In order to prevent the enemy from issuing fake or um, confusing orders, CRM-114 oh is designed not to receive at all. We will prevail in peace and freedom from fear and in true health through the purity and essence of our natural fluids. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're, we're still trying to figure out the meaning of that last phrase. <laughs> <laughs> but no, baby, I can't, I can't talk to you now, but my president needs me. Everyone can hear that. Of course.
course, it isn't only physical. <laughs> <laughs> I want them to enter the base, locate General Ripper, and put him in immediate telephone contact with me. Under a condition red, it is standard procedure that the base be sealed off. And shoot anyone that approaches. There are one or two points I'd like to make, if I may. Two. In less than 15 minutes from now, the Ruskies will be making radar contact with the plane. Oh my god. An unofficial study, which we undertook of this eventuality, <laughs> indicated... Didn't he say he just had a couple things to say? <laughs> <laughs> ...would therefore prevail and suffer only modest and acceptable civilian casualties from the remaining force, which would be... Acceptable? <laughs> Jesus. You're talking about mass murder, General, not war. I do say no more than 10 to 20 million killed, tops. So casual about it. Mr. President, they have the ambassador waiting upstairs. You see everything. You, <laughs> you, you see the big board. <laughs> <laughs> this general is insane. He's like a child. Yeah. Oh, we accidentally <laughs> sent off a bunch of bombers. We might as well just proceed. <laughs> it's only 20 million dead. It's fine. <laughs> but mom, he'll see the board. <laughs> Pills, 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 Is his accent getting more and more ridiculous? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three pair of nylon stockings. What? I feel like have a pretty good weekend in Vegas with all that <laughs> Try one of these Jamaican cigars, Ambassador. They're pretty good. Foods. Thank you. Mm. No, I do not support the work of imperialist stooges. Only commie stooges, huh? Is he supposed to be Russian, that accent? Our premier is a man of the people, but he's also a man, if you follow my meaning. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Jesus. Gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. <laughs> <laughs> this clumsy fool attempted to plant that ridiculous camera on me. Okay. Oh, that's the base watching all the forces come in. Mm. Oh, God. You sure got to have those commies. Yeah. Gee, those trucks sure look like the real thing, don't they? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I, this has to be a mockery on, like, the, the communist paranoia that was going on around that time in the U.S., right? The whole McCarthyism thing? I, it has to be. Mm. It's horrible. I have a sinking feeling, but by the end of this movie, the only people killed are American soldiers killed by other American soldiers. Yep, probably. <sighs> and he's gonna be like, yeah, you see, I was right. <laughs> Alex, I please, I beg you. I don't have a phone. Tovarish Pesidatil, Gavrit Sadsky. That's not Russian. I've done as you asked. Be careful, Mr. President. I think he is drunk. <laughs> Listen, I, I can't hear too well. Do you suppose you could turn the music down just a little? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good that you're fine then, and, and I'm fine. <laughs> I agree with you. It's great to be fine. <laughs> One of our base commanders he had a sort of he went a little funny in the head you know <laughs> <clears throat> let me finish dimitri well listen how do you think i feel about it this is so why do you think i'm calling you of course i like to speak to you <laughs> i'd say that uh we're just gonna have to help you destroy them, Dimitri. I'm very sorry. All right, you're sorrier than I am. I am as sorry as you are, Dimitri. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they just had to compete over everything, the two country. The doomsday machine. A device which will destroy all human and animal life on Earth. Oh god. Okay. Water is the source of all life. You and I need fresh, pure it's the water. <laughs> To replenish yeah. our precious bodily fluids. Yeah. Mandrake. <laughs> Is he crying? 
Have you ever heard of a thing called fluoridation? Fluoridation is the most monstrously conceived and dangerous communist plot we have ever had to face. I was going to say, like, they're having this really weird com- conversation while chaos outside. He swore about fluorides in the water. Okay. <laughs> yeah, save your golf clubs. F***ing weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> This guy is nuts! Hey, don't forget to check out our Patreon for these exclusives! And now back to the movie. You've obviously never heard of Cabal Thorium G. Well, what about it? <laughs> when they are exploded, they will produce a doomsday shroud, a lethal cloud of radioactivity. The doomsday machine is designed to trigger itself automatically. It is designed to explode if any attempt is ever made. Ah. Uh. We're wasting valuable time. We're getting ready to climb. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Strangelove, do we have anything oh. like that in the works? Okay. What? Please, Mr. President. Dr. Strangelove. Oh, the guy in the wheelchair. Okay. This idea was not a practical deterrent. <laughs> Then you mean it is possible for them to have built such a thing? Ash, I guess, from mm. the shaking. Because of the automated and irrevocable decision-making process, <laughs> which rules out human meddling. Okay. Dr. Strangelove kind of sounds like Yoda. Hmm. <laughs> There's no limit to the size they are connected to a gigantic <laughs> complex of computers. I didn't expect him to sound this silly. Whole point of the doomsday machine is lost. If you keep it a secret, why didn't you tell the world, eh? Premier loves surprises. <laughs> oh my god. This is so odd, this movie. Just like, the, the character that the movie's named after doesn't show up till halfway. Yeah. And then just has this ridiculous voice. Yeah. This whole thing, just insane. Yeah, the only war zone is just outside a military base fighting between American soldiers. Yeah. Like, Dr. Strangelove, <laughs> like, he was smiling the whole time, I think. Like, he didn't stop smiling. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> the way he's holding that gun, isn't the, the barrel with all those holes, that's like... That right. would just burn his hand, wouldn't it? I know nothing about... I feel the like things, that would just burn I... his hand. You realize that in addition to fluoridating water, where there are studies underway to fluoridate salt, flour, fruit juices. <laughs> when did you first develop this theory? During the physical act of love. <laughs> feeling of emptiness followed. I was able to interpret these feelings correctly. <laughs> I do not avoid women, Mandrake, but I, I do deny them my essence. I see. This movie is so weird. I don't know why. He's paranoid about fluoride in the water. Because he felt tired after sex. And from that point on, he's denied no women. More. This is mine. Always wants to surrender. <laughs> Let's recall the winger. Those boys were like my children, Mandrake. I'm sure they all gave it their very best. Do I look all rancid and clotted? You look at me, Jack, eh? And I can swear to you, my boy, that there's nothing wrong with my bodily fluids. <laughs> were you ever a prisoner of war? Oh, when they tortured you, did you talk? No, I... Uh... You know, those clowns outside are going to give me a pretty good going over in a few minutes. I happen to believe in a life after this one, and I think I can. You know what, I'm here. No, Jack, let me take that for you. I'll take that for you, Jack. Oh, uh, what is he going to do? I don't know. I don't like it, though. He's just an insane person. Oh, I'll try and guess. I'll try and oh. guess what the character is. Has... Yeah. The handgun. Yeah. Oh. So now the code's gone. This one guy went crazy. And the plan, or the system, was terrible. <laughs> Looks like a missile tracking us. Oh god. <laughs> Defense systems? Yeah. Missile still closing range. Well yeah, it's the... The yeah. president was like, yeah, we'll help you take them down. 
Missile still closing true and steady. Continue <laughs> evasive action. He's so calm. Uh, you have to be, right? I guess, yeah. It would do no good for you to freak out. Missile still deflecting range. It's weird now. though, because I kinda don't want this to happen. You want that these guys to get shot down. <laughs> Missile detonated. <laughs> Yeah, you don't obviously don't want them to succeed Which, because it yeah, yeah, but also like I feel so bad for these guys. They're just like like really yeah, like they plan got, R, they, what the fuck? <laughs> they got some bad orders, yeah. Jesus. But, yeah. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay. O P O E. Hmm. Oh, but that was the code. Where's General Ripper? He's dead in the bathroom. Where's the bathroom? Next to you. But that was like, he found the three letter code, the OPE. Mm -hmm. So they can. Got any witnesses? What are you talking about, witnesses? He shot himself. While well, he was shaving, huh? Now look, Colonel. <sighs> Bat Guano, if that really is your name. <laughs> <laughs> Bat Guano? Bad shit. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to pick up this red telephone, which is connected to sack, and I hope... Blast. Oh, it's dead. All right, Charlie, I've been wasting too much time. <sighs> I got a lot of wounded men outside. Start walking. Oh, my God. <laughs> Colonel Batshit. <laughs> so, did he and his... Oh, now they can't even see the recall code, because it's shot... to oh hell. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh my god! The power is on. Oh no. Does this just end with the world ending? Roger, navigator! Because there's no way for think, these guys to know. Now. Yeah, I think you're right. I think this is gonna just end so poorly. We would have enough fuel to ditch at weathership Tango Delta. Right, unless they ditch. Yeah. An abandoned plant. But this is just one <laughs> of how many planes. Hmm. So. I think General Ripper found out about your preversion. And that you were organizing some kind of mutiny of preverts. Now move! Preverts? You want to talk to the President of the United States? I've got to talk to him. Okay, go ahead. Try and get the President of the United States on the phone. It's weird that the Colonel wasn't given the reason why he's coming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> preverts. <sighs> I think I know that guy, the, the Colonel Batchet. I think I know him from another movie. Mm. He plays someone's dad. I want you to place an emergency person-to-person -person call with President Merkin Muffley in the Pentagon, Washington, D.C. <laughs> Merkin Muffley? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I haven't got enough change. Um, <laughs> could, you, uh, could you make this a collect call operator? <laughs> the fate of the world on a collect call. <sighs> I won't accept the call. Have you got 55 cents? <laughs> Well, you don't think I'd go into combat with loose change in my pocket, do you? Oh my god. <laughs> they won't... That Coca-Cola machine, I want you to shoot the lock off it. There may be some change in there. That's private property. <laughs> but if you don't get the President of the United States on that phone, you know what's going to happen to you? What? You're going to have to answer to the Coca-Cola company. <laughs> Okay, but the except, one plane didn't. Except the one we've been following. Premier Kissoff's calling again, and he's hopping mad. <laughs> <laughs> so this one plane. Aside from Zero, the very five, intense and dramatic and horrible, you know, things cool. that are occurring yeah, in this movie, seven. it's quite fun. Like, if you mm -hmm. just compartmentalize, <laughs> it's pretty silly and fun. You know what he says? He says <laughs> one of the planes hasn't turned back. Look, we've got an acknowledgement from every plane except the four you've shut down. Oh. <laughs> oh. He says their air defense now only claims three aircraft confirmed. The fourth may only be damaged. And it's not receiving the code. Look, if this report is true and the plane manages to bomb, is this going to set off the doomsday machine? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Dimitri, I'm sorry that jamming your radar and flying so low, but they're trained to do it. 
<laughs> Dimitri, there's no point in you getting hysterical at a moment like this. Dimitri, I like how... feet on the ground when you're talking. Dimitri, I... He's so stern with a general, and then here. Yeah, it's like a, <laughs> a, a boyfriend or something. I estimate we only have uh, 38 minutes flying time, which will not even take us as far as the primary. Oh. We've come this far just to dump this thing in the drink. What's the nearest target opportunity? Oh. Oh my yeah. god. Just going to the nearest. Oh my god. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed, Dimitri, and remember, there's just one thing, we are all in this together. We're right behind you, Dimitri, we're with you all the way. <laughs> if the pilot's good, see? <laughs> you wanna see it sometime, it's a sight, you a big play, like a 52. Yeah, he's nuts. <laughs> Has he got a chance? Has he got a chance? <laughs> <Hell> yeah! <laughs> 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 Ready for final bomb room check. Take over, Roger. That's it then, right? They're just dropping the bomb. Yeah, because everyone's set up at the other target to take them down. And there's oh. no way for them to. That's it. This is insane. This is crazy. Also, Doctor Strangelove, the character this movie's named after, is barely in it. Mm hmm. He delivered one monologue. That's it. I'm also really confused about, like, the. How I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb. Like, yeah. what? What? I don't. Uh, like, embrace death? Oh, God. Bomb door circuits. Negative function. Lights red. <laughs> the power on. Still negative function. <laughs> Operate manual override. No! <laughs> Like they're, so, they're so determined to end the world, but didn't know that they're doing it. Like, <laughs> there's like, there's so many things that are saying like, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> yeah, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. But they're so determined. <laughs> the operating circuits are dead, sir. I've never seen James Earl Jones nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> there it is, right? There it is, He's yeah. He rides the... the bomb. Oh my god. Jesus. Holy sh shit. Hey, what about Major Kong? <laughs> <laughs> what the f Okay, <laughs> not a dud. Radioactivity would never penetrate a mine some thousands of feet deep. How oh long would you God. have to stay down there? It's radioactive half life of <laughs> 100 years. It would not be difficult, my Fuhrer. My Fuhrer. <laughs> I would hate to have to decide who stays up and who goes down. It could easily be accomplished with a computer to foster and impart the required principles of leadership and tradition. <laughs> What the f***? <laughs> he just can't help it, can he? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! It's <laughs> time and little to do. <laughs> that is so f***ed up. But look here, Doctor. Wouldn't this nucleus of survivors be so grief-stricken and anguished that they envy the dead and not want to go <laughs> on living? You've got an evil Nazi arm. <laughs> just like this. Just the one arm. <laughs> With a spirit of bold curiosity for the adventure ahead. It's <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> biting himself. <laughs> I have a plan. <laughs> God. We meet again. <laughs> Just this beautiful music over oh, nuclear explosions. Uh. 
And this is all how Fallout began. <laughs> Underground shafts. War. <laughs> Wait, are the vaults in Fallout actually inspired by this movie? <laughs> They're huh. just following Doctor Strange Love's like plan of putting yeah. people underground until it's over. Yeah, makes yeah. perfect sense. Can't Maybe wait. the vaults are inspired by <laughs> Doctor Strange Love. Yeah. <laughs> the anime. Oh. What the? Okay. F <laughs> what a movie! I don't oh have my God. any words. That's just like. Blah, I, it's... Blah. <laughs> I mean, this movie is a few, only like a couple of years after the Cuban Missile Crisis, so I'm assuming it is like heavily inspired by that, how mm -hmm. close the world came to annihilation. Mm -hmm. But also, it's still like right in the middle of what, like the, the most intensive anti-communism, everything red is bad, mm -hmm. period in the US. So I wonder how this movie was received at the time, right? Because it's it's clearly making fun of like the, the, the absurd... Um, Oh, yeah. Militaristic yeah. mindset of like, I predict they will do this because I'm just totally projecting mm. and therefore they must be doing it. Therefore, we must preemptively do it. Therefore, blah, 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 blah. Right. Mm -hmm. That that kind of mental gymnastic. Um, yeah. So I really wonder how, how this movie was received at the time. Yeah. I bet there's like a bunch of people where like the 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 satire of it just went over their heads and they're like, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah holy shit oh man it's so great we were so confused everybody in the movie and us were so confused about the fluid thing and then we just i had sex this one time i was tired <laughs> therefore it was she fluoride in the essence. water i'll never give anybody else my essence <laughs> oh, no. fluoride in the water all it does is just make your teeth not decay as much <laughs> <laughs> wow okay well, wow. in Dr. Cool. Strange Love's universe, the world ended. So, um, I, I, of all the characters, why Dr. Strange Love? Like, why is it named after him? Because he's barely in it. He's hilarious, but he's. Do you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't yeah. feel like a main character. I don't know. He doesn't feel man. like a main character, so I wonder why it's named after him. Uh, Anyways, this movie definitely didn't have a sequel. This. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess it would have been Fallout 1. It's so funny. The, yeah. yeah, what a f***ing ride. That was... That's... <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh, man. Um, All right. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, that wraps up <laughs> this episode <laughs> of Cinnabend. Uh Everyone go to your vault. Lock the doors. <laughs> <laughs> share your essence. Uh, yeah, share your essence. It's good to share. Uh, no, please, live like, your life. Get laid. <laughs> support us even further you can join us on patreon <laughs> yeah thank you for our patrons for helping us keep doing oh. this and shout out to um volter1 to 84 tyler foster ty johnson travis pr shane driscoll scott wasserman pg forever uga nick r uh nameless matthew brown 74m lorning logan nelson keith wood john swan john swenson jelly licious jay davis <laughs> james lee jacob archer 78 and jay thank you all Thanks, very everybody. much and i hope everybody gets to share their essence bye <laughs>